Hi folks, ever wondered how you get the perfect moto vlog set up? Stick around and find out how. Right, so what are you going to need to make the perfect moto vlogging helmet? Well, first off, you need a helmet. Now I've got the new Rurock Atlas 2.0, so what better time to do it? You'll also need, or I would suggest you get, one of these, called a, a helmet ring or a helmet service ring. You pick them up on Amazon, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, you're also gonna need some form of comms kit. I use the Pack Talk Bold. In my opinion, the best one out there. The mesh is fantastic, really easy to set up, and it just works. So that's the one I'm gonna use. Again, links down below. You also need some form of camera. Now I use the GoPro. Pro Hero 7, there is the Hero 8. Both have their own little idiosyncrasies, to be honest with you. I like the 7, and I've got one, and I'm not going to fork out another 400 quid for the Hero 8. But again, links down below. You're going to need a selection of bits and bobs for the GoPro. Again, there'll be links for everything down below. Check out the description. You're going to need the audio adapter. You're going to need some form of mic, like a lavalier mic. That's the one I use. You're going to need the old dead cat, the little buff which is just that little bit of fluff that, that goes on the end of the microphone. Again, I'll cover that as we install it. Uh, and that is, oh, you're also gonna need some double-sided Velcro. Again, links down below for the stuff I use. And that is that. Let's get on with the show. So for me, let's start off with the camera. How are you gonna mount the camera? Well, as you can see here, I use a fairly simple orientation of lots of different 90 degree mounts. And that allows me to get the ultimate flexibility wherever I mount this on the front of the helmet, I can turn and I can rotate around here to get the best angle. Let's break this down and I'll show you. So that is pretty much the setup I have. They're a mixture of these straight on two and three prong pieces, but then I also have one of these. So that's a 90 degree piece. See that piece is there, and then this piece faces that way. And through this combination of, of that setup, that gives me the greatest freedom. So let's put this back together. You need to make sure it's nice and loose to begin with to give you that flexibility. What I would say is make sure you have all these parts somewhere where they're nice and easy for you to get to. Okay, so still loose enough that I can uh, rotate that around. The way this is gonna sit on the helmet, it's gonna sit on the helmet like that. The camera is gonna be sort of orientated around like this. So I need that part to be at the bottom. This will all make sense in a second, I promise you. And when you fit that part there, that means that is now on the outside and I can easily get access to it. If it was coming out this way, it's going to be hard to get to. That's as clear as mud, isn't it? I'm sorry about that, folks. Basically, what I'm trying to say is where these handles are to adjust the, the segments in the mount, just orientate them so that you can access them. For example, if this one was on that side, then it's going to be quite hard to get to, isn't it? Because it's, it's sort of crammed, like this one there, that is on that side, so that is quite hard for me to get to because the adapter and everything's there. And that one there, it's pointing down because if I had that pointing up there, it would be really hard to get to and it would interfere with this. Just put a little bit of foresight into which way you put these screws. That's all I was meaning. I don't know what plan I was on there. Anyway, let's get back to it. It's just all about a little bit of foresight and a little bit of um, preparation. And then the camera itself just sits, bang, straight into there. So that's that. It's all nice and loose. It's malleable. I can move things around as much as I need. Okay, so next we have to look at the lid. Now, I like the lid positioned somewhere in front of the chin. And this is actually gonna be quite a tough one because of all these different angles and things around here. Let's have a look. Oh, can I put that there? Do you know, I think on this one, I can probably do with getting rid of that, that link there. It's just pushing the camera out a little bit too far. So if I take that one out, so we lose one of these, and then just connect this straight to that, should now be a bit better. You can see it's just not quite as far out. It's still a fair bit out, but it's not horrendous. And I can still rotate this round up and down once this is on, and I'll be able to get whatever angle I'm looking for. 
Now to me that seems quite high in line with that. So let's have a little look, put the helmet on and just have a little look. That to me seems perfect right there. All right, I need to be able to take a picture of that. How am I gonna do this? I haven't thought this through, have I? Now that, that is what you call ingenuity. Took the memory card into there, had a look on the footage to see where it was, took a screenshot, I've got the screenshot up for reference, memory card back in the phone. Oh, down there for dancing. Anyway, let's get back to this. That is the trusty ring. One of these, the curved adhesive mounts, that's going to be the best option here. And looking at the footage, it was actually way up there, but if I can put this as low down as possible, so I think about there is going to be great. However, pro tip, remember that audio adapter that I need to use? Let's just fit that now. Now that is going to be 3M Velcroed, or a variation of Velcro, onto that part of the lid. So I want to make sure that that is okay there. That will be fine. Then I can run the audio cable from the mic up and in. So what we'll do is we'll just take the backing off, like so. And we will whack that on there. That all seems to sit fine. Give it a little push on. Let me take the camera off for now. And then we can really push that one. Now this needs a good sort of 24 hours. They say 24, 12 to 24 hours. Let's just push that on so it's nice and firm. Beautiful. So that is now the GoPro mount attached. Now if your helmet is really angular at the front, then you can get this uh, like weld material, plastic weld material, and you could build that in all around there to, to form a nice solid flat mount on your helmet that you can attach this to. But for me, I think that's gonna be okay, just as it is. I've always found a 3M touch wood. I've always found the 3M really good. That is the camera now attached, and all you need to do now is just move this around to get the ultimate angle that you're happy with. So let's go with that now. So looking straight down, I can see that that there is pretty much straight that way. It's gonna be looking straight down there in line with the lid. Maybe just doing a smidgen. So I can tighten this bottom one. Now some of these parts, some of them are Allen keys sometimes, but these ones are all crosshead screwdrivers. So I can just take the crosshead screwdriver in there and tighten it up. So that is nice and tight. Next, we've got to look at the helmet there, how it would be orientated on the head. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking for my where my eye level is going to be. What direction, you know, what plane. Are my eyes going to be looking in this direction or that direction or how are they? And for me, I would say smack bang how that is just now. Just up a smidgen. Bang, that'll do me for just now. So I'll just tighten that up and that should do for now. Obviously, we're gonna test this once we're out and about and on the bike. Just do a quick bit of video, check the video footage back and make sure that your camera angles and everything are all spot on before you go out there and film your vlog. Get home and realize you're pointing to the sky or looking at the handlebars. I've done it, it's very easy to do. Anyway, so now, let's just fit this, get this attached. And for this, I just use that stuff. 3M dual lock. Buy it in various different lengths. Got the 3M self-adhesive tape on it. Very easy to do, just cut to length. So, open her up. This is the side that's gonna fit to the lid. Have a look at that. Roughly how much do I need there? Get a pair of scissors, and I just mark roughly where I need to cut it, which would be about there. Make a little indentation so I know where to cut. Roughly square. Bosh, job done. Flip it over, put another bit on, and this will be the bit that goes on the lid. Doesn't matter if you make this one a little bit bigger, really not an issue. Cut to size, that's that done. Nice and easy. So now all I need to do is just attach that onto the back. So it's very simple. Peel off the tape at the back, attach that onto the adapter, give it a good firm, firm push hold down. Now I would do, I do a dry fit now. So fit the adapter into the camera if you're using adapter. And where am I gonna put that? I want it so it's not too much tension on this cable, but you can actually use this to your advantage because a little bit of tension will help to keep that cable nice and securely in. But make sure you can take it out, which you can do, awesome. So about there would do me. So again, just peel off the backing, pop it in the camera one more time, and push her home. So there you go. 
Now we've got the camera mounted and we've got the audio adapter mounted. So all we have to do now is wire in the mic and the comms kit. That's next. So there you go, that's everything I'd use here. I've got the PackTalk Bold kit there. Uh, I've gone for the uh, JBL upgrade. So I've bought the JBL speakers to give that extra rich sound. There's the little dead cat for the lavalier mic, which is there. That's the PackTalk kit itself. I'm gonna fit the boom mic and not the sort of wired mic that would go in here. This is normally for open face lids or modular helmets if you like. I find just having that ability to move this microphone around really does help the clarity when you're talking to people, especially on the phone. And then this is the cradle which the pack talk sits in and that attaches to your helmet. It can either slide inside the actual outside of the lid or alternatively, the way we're gonna do it, you get the 3M backing cradle that sticks to the outside of your lid, that attaches to that, and then you fit the, create the pack talk in there. So let's crack on and get this done. So, to fit the cables, first thing I do is remove all the helmet padding. So let's crack on with that. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken out the cheek pads, uh, and that is basically the skull of the helmet. Still got the back part there, which uh, the padding there, which I can take out in a second. Now, the pack talk sits on the left hand side, and the way I have it set up, so I'm going to use that to stick onto the outside of the helmet because, see that's quite a thick ridge there. On a lot of helmets, you can get away with this clip which would just, you know, that go on the inside of the helmet and that runs on the outside and you can just push that nice and firmly in and it grips this outer shell. Can't do that with these lids that have the thick ridge there. So you have to use the 3M solution. The pack talk is designed to go on the left hand side of your lid. You can see it just sits in like that, pushes home, and that's it sat in its cradle. I will want to sit it somewhere around about there, and then I can run the cables straight in into here without any issue. Lovely. Let me just make sure we're all okay there. Can run the cables in here, that connects to the mic, that connects to the audio, goes into the back. Okay, so that should be fine. Right, I found there a bit of a jigsaw puzzle this one. Rather than take all the pads out completely, all I've done is I've loosened these bits off here. So the cheek pads are still in and I've taken the chin curtain off so I can still get in here, I can still run cables and things around. Now, as we've said, the cardo sits on the left-hand side of the lid. And as you can see, that is the cable that runs to the mic and that's quite short, which means the cable, the microphone is gonna have to lie on this side to connect to there because you can't put it on the other side there can you because you're not going to be able to connect it with that wire so just keep that in mind that the microphone the boom mic for the cardo is going to have to be on the same side on the left hand side of the lid you're going to want the mic to sit around about there so it's just out the way of this chin vent and then i can put the mic for my camera over on this side so you get two pads, two 3M pads, which you can stick on the inside there. And then they, in turn, secure these parts. So wherever you put the pads, just make sure they're roughly that sort of distance apart, what, three inches, something like that. They're on the inside of your lid, so that you can just stick this straight on. So let's crack on and get that done. So as you can see, see there, that's it all stuck, ready to go. And that cable, I can just run in here, neatly behind there. This covers that all up job done. Now we have to pop in the uh, earphones. Now, can you see there on the inside of this lining, this has a place ready for the headphones to go straight there. Some helmets have an actual recess, a hole. The shoeies tend to have an actual recess cut into the lining where you can just pop the, um, the headphones straight in. But I'll just put the headphones there. So again, you get given the uh, sticky back plastic Velcro pads. They stick onto that part of your uh, helmet. They stick into the helmet like that. And then this just sticks on there. And later on, you can go back and you can move that all around just to make sure you get the best position possible for your ear. So you get the speaker right over your uh, ear opening. So that's what I'll do. I'll just pop these straight in there for just now. Nice and quick job. Okay, so now we have the microphone for the Cardo fitted. 
um, we've got the velcro pads ready to attach the speakers what I would do next is I'd wire in the lavalier mic for the camera to catch my commentary so again links down below for this this is a cheap mic I think it's about four quid five quid something like that on Amazon and then I also use that a dead cat and all I do is I take this little foam bit off and slip that over the end like so loads of cable which we can hide inside the lid take this little foam bit off to reveal the actual mic that popping shield that would be useful when you are inside uh, and it takes the sort of noises out of your audio and that just slips in here so I've found these are quite tight to begin with they need a bit of work get the tip of a pen and just slide that in there just to open it up a bit pro tip super glue I normally put just a little bit of super glue just around the edge here and that helps keep that attached all the time because otherwise when you're taking your helmet on and off these just fall off and you end up losing them just run a little bit on the mic make sure you don't get that on your fingers whack that in and then just push it home all the way in and just pinch it around the bottom of your mic to let the glue set one, two, six, ten. Beautiful. That's now on. This microphone I normally have tucked right in here. So all I'll do is I'll lift the cheek pad up. I need to run the cable underneath that, making sure that is nice and tight into here. And then that cable will just get tucked away in the back here with the speaker cables. Simple as that. Next speakers, as you can see the speakers here, one comes with a short side which is your left hand side, so with the side where the cardo is going to be, the mic side, and the other one's a lot longer so you can wrap this around the inside of your helmet to your right ear. And this cable also acts as a bit of an antenna and an aerial. Attach that to the velcro pads you've already put in there. This will all get held in place nice and securely once you um, firm up all your pads and everything. Each helmet will be different as well as to how you how you secure the pads. Next, attach the GoPro cradle to the helmet. Just making sure that is going to sit okay there. That's fine, I think by the look of things. Can run the cables in there. Okay, so peel the backing off. And attach that one there. Again, ideally 24 hours just to let all the glue uh, totally bond before you get out into the wind. And now, we just have to connect everything up. Bear with me, I'll do this. This is fiddly, it's gonna be hard to get on camera. And I may swear. So just try and keep your wiring as clutter free as you possibly can. A lot easier said than done, I know. Okay, so as you can see, lavalier mic for the camera, mic for the cardo. All the wiring is now hidden inside the pads here. Cardo's mounted on the side. 3.5 mil jack runs out of the lid, plugs in there, sits here, connects to the camera. Right, something which everyone asks me about. This connector here, the audio adapter, you have to take the waterproof door off in order to fit this adapter in when it's in the case. So that then leaves that, you see that there? A hulking great big hole, susceptible to water, uh, the rain, everything like that. So how do you combat that? Well. I use these, these are called uh, Max Pillow Soft Silicone Putty Earplugs. It's just the things that you whack in your ear, moldable little sort of silicon stuff. And all you do is you just mold that around, let me show you. So you take that, that's what they come as, just these little oval sort of discs of moldable putty. And you can see that that is wide open to the elements now. So once it's connected, water can still get in here. So all I do is I just take sort of a pinch of about that much, flatten it out, to fill this part here so I just sort of make a rough shape like that whack that in and then I just push it in to the hole I don't compact it in there but enough to make a seal and then you just need a little smidgen for the back I normally just roll that into a bit of a long thin sausage like that whack that on the back and then I can just mold that around so that it all connects up like so and that is rainproof now Job done. And that, folks, 
is how you do that. Follow those basic principles and you will have yourself a top class moto vlogging setup. You might have to fiddle a little bit with the angles and the camera and adjust the position of the mic dependent on your lid to get the least wind noise and the best camera angle. But that's something you can sort yourself. Nice and easy to do. Right folks, remember to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below. Check out the description for links to everything used here. If you've not checked out the clan yet over on Patreon, please do. The support there has been fantastic and it really is a huge help. It allows me to go and do lots more things which I just wouldn't be available to me otherwise. So folks, get on out there, do your thing, look after those that you love, but most importantly, live your life. To adjust the... the... That's as clear as mud, isn't it? Let's stop this. It's a bit of a catastrophe.